Open your browser and search for electronics tree. In the search results, click on the first link to open the website. In the download section, navigate to the Proteus Library page. Select a library to open its post, which includes details, usage steps, and a download link at the end. Scroll down and click the download button. Save the file to your computer. The downloaded zip file is password protected. Use the password electronicstreet.com. Extract the contents using WinRAR or 7-Zip. After you complete the extraction process, you will see two main folders inside the unzipped file, the library folder and the model folder. Now open Proteus 9 to locate the library directory. You can find it by navigating to System menu then select System Settings. In the Global tab, you will see the path for the Proteus library folder, and in the Simulation tab, you will see the path for the Proteus model folder. Make sure to note down these paths, as this is where we will place our extracted files. First, let's verify that the Relay Module Library is not currently installed. Identify the Proteus Library folder on your computer. In Windows, the Program Data folder is hidden by default, so make sure to unhide it. Once visible, you will find both the Proteus Library and Model folders inside. Now place the library files into the Proteus library folder and the model files into the Proteus model folder. After placing the files, you may not see them immediately in the library browser. To make the new components appear, simply restart Proteus, and the newly installed library will be available for use. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any requests for Arduino module libraries in Proteus, please leave a comment or contact me directly at help at electronicstree.com. I'll do my best to add them in future updates.